Jen. Welcome to Fitness Challenge. We're going to start in one minute. All you're going to need today is space, yourself, water, and then um, I have two pairs of weights. I'm using a pair of fives and a pair of eights. We have 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We have groups of four. We're going to go through each twice. Um, so we have some good mornings and some deadlifts that, yes, um, 16 pound total. It's going to be a little light for that, but I can always pick up the speed. I can also have a heavier weight near me if that's okay, but we're also going to be doing some lateral raises and sequential raises later. So I want to have weights that I can do those comfortably with, and then I can always increase the speed without bouncing around to um, make it a little easier for the other ones. Also, I have some idea I have. Um, obviously, you can do the, the frontal races together, dividing one weight, but you can't do that with the lateral. So, um, just got a second, grab those weights, and then we're gonna we're gonna get started. Easy peasy today. There is a little bit of um, cardio, so I will give high intensity options and low intensity options as always. Do a little open up of the hip. These little like C's for cookie kicks. One more each side. And then lift to the side, middle, side, middle. Rotate, punch, and rotate. You've done these before. You know this. You know this drill. Let's come over the top. Still rotate. Let's change that to elbows. And upper cuts. Have you taken? the cardio cake butt class that we are offering now for the month of November at least. It's super fun. Do kickboxing stuff. Let's go side to side. Super sweaty, super great. I did it in the Bedford facility in the group finisher and welcome to join next Wednesday, noon to one, or you can live stream it from Zoom, but it is not a recordable class because we use current music. Hellos. Which makes it fun, but doesn't mean we can record it, unfortunately. And let's switch to uppercuts. Alright, shake it out. Just roll the shoulders back. And forward. So, the other thing today is we have a lot of balance work. So I'd like you to run in place a little bit while I go through the exercises. So run in place, um, high knees, jumping jacks, walk in place, anything like that. Just keep your heart rate up while I go through the exercises. So we have a good morning, which is our first exercise. So we're going to take a weight if we have it. We can have it right above our collarbone or if we're 100% sure that we're confident in what we're doing, we can have it back behind, kind of on the top of our back, not on our neck. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to have my elbows out to the side. I'm going to lean forward and back up. So my knees are almost all the way straight. And I have a flat back. And I'm just going to where I feel comfortable and I can come back up. That's exercise one. Then exercise two, we have foot jack, hop down. Foot jack, hands down. So, or you can just do regular jumping jack if that suits you better. Then we get into our balance exercises. So what we're going to do is we have single leg, single arm row. So I'm going to have one foot up, and I'm going to row up here. So I'm going to do 30 seconds one leg, and then do 30 seconds the other, 
and we go through those whole, that whole four again. So if you're moving around, you can take a second, you can stop, you can grab some water really quick, you can grab the weight that you're gonna use for this first round. 30 on, 50 off, 15 off. So it's a, it's a pretty good ratio, so I really want you to make sure that you're working hard during that 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna start with those good mornings. <coughs> And three, and two, and one, and lean forward and back up. So you should feel a little stretch in your hamstrings, but it's not something painful. Involved. And that weight is that high in chest collarbone area. Weight down, make sure it's out of the way so you're not going to hit anything when you're jumping around. Remember, we're doing a jack feet out and in with the touchdown with the hands. Three, two, one. Out and in. Or you can just be here if you are having problems with the up and down, maybe it's causing some dizziness. Here's fine. Otherwise, Adding in that upper body. Ten seconds. Or if you want to take out that hop all together, we can be here. We could be something, something like this. A whole bunch of different options. Okay. Now we have that balance. So one leg up. Now you don't have to have one leg up. Well, that's especially a little trick if you have lighter weights. It's going to be a little harder for yourself. They also have just your toe on the ground. So if you're, if you're worried about the balance aspect, you have this little like, tripod action going here. Bringing that arm up, that armpit. Bringing that heart rate down a little bit. Three. A two, a one. All right, we're just going to stand on the other side. And then I'll round out our four, and then we're going to go right back to those good mornings. Fast pace, moving through. All right, three, two, one. For some reason, your range of motion is different on one side versus the other. Illness, injury, whatever it happens to be, make sure that you're matching. If you're only going halfway up, if you're using a smaller weight, whatever it is, that's fine. Just make sure you're matching. All right, we're going back to those good mornings again. One more time through with these. All right, three, two. One. You don't want your elbows out if that's uncomfortable for you, that's fine. They can be down. I want them to be equal, whatever they're doing. Having a nice flat back. version this time the whole way through. Feel free to join me if you want. Don't have to. So I'm going to be in a little squat and I'm just going to walk out side to side. Right, come over here. And then every so often maybe you switch those legs.
want to make sure you're really equaling yourself out. You can also count. I don't worry with that too much. But you can. Make sure the shoulder's down. It's not popping up. And we're going to switch sides. So after this one, we get a little break. I'll go through the exercises for round two. We have plie squats, or wide squats, just normal squats. We have speed skaters. And then we have single arms, single leg kickbacks. We all have demo for you, so don't worry. We have seven more seconds. Okay. Take a break, walk around, just kind of look at the screen and see what's happening. So for our plie squats, we have our feet out nice and wide, our toes are pointed, and we're going to do our squats in this position. You can definitely hold a weight, totally up to you. That's exercise one. Speed skaters, side to side, kick that foot back like you're speed skating. You can, if you want to add in some other exercise component, you can reach down and touch in between. If you want higher intensity, add in hop, side to side, nice and wide, lower intensity, take that away. Then we have our single leg, single arm kickback. So we're going to come up. This time we're going to lean forward a little bit to balance out. Then we're going to come back and we're going to kick back. So I'm just going to do the same arm, same leg, but you don't have to. You can do the other side. Whatever is convenient for you, as long as you're doing both ways, that's all I ask. And we're starting in 15 seconds. Alright, three, two, one. If you have a weight, make sure it's either up nice and high or maybe it's down here, but make sure that your shoulders are back and down. If you have your weight down here, that's fine. I still want you to hunch forward. And this is your pace. So if you have a lighter weight than me, you can go faster. If you have no weight, you can go a lot faster. As long as you're not using momentum here, that's all. All the requirement is. All right, so speed skaters, make sure that weight, if you have it, is out of the way. So this first round through, I'll do the more higher intensity. Second round through, I'll do the lower intensity, but you can do both ways, same thing, no problem. And three, and two, and one, side to side. I should mention there's three groupings total, so we're in our second line. This 30 minute class is just fly by. Three, two, one. All right. So we'll see how this weight goes. I might need to change it out, but I'm going to try with what I have first. So remember, we're leaning forward, and we're kicking that arm back. And that hook can be completely on the ground, or it can be here. Whatever works best for you. That stabilizing leg is getting a good burn, especially from those cardio bits. Three, two, one. We're going to switch to the other side. Alrighty, get set. Four, three, 
two, and one. All right, ready to start from the top one more time. Plie, squats are up first. If you're doing the cardio bits without the um, about adding in the hops and jumps and you want to keep the resistance, that's an option too. There's a hundred different ways to make it your own. And if you ever have questions about that, let us know. We can gladly help you. All right, speed skaters, I'm going to do the lower intensity version this time. I'm going to stay in that squat and I'm going to kick back. I can still add in that tap down if I want. or as slow as I want. Two and one. Okay, kickbacks. The last time I did it with a single side. Next, this time I'm going to try alternating sides just to see what works best for me. Both sides are fine. The whole idea is just to get that difficulty level up just a little bit. We're still working that tricep, regardless of what leg you lift. And if it's too much, I'd much rather have you tap that foot down, worry about the kickback, and then when you feel ready, if you feel ready, lift that leg back up. Then worry about the balance and shaking all over the place. Two, one, release, we're switching out. And that one will finish off grouping in two, three, two, one. some water and I'll go through around number three. We have a deadlift, we have a full body run, we have lateral raises, and we have frontal raises. Alright, so for our deadlift, we're going to do the same type of motion we did with our good morning, but this time we're going to have our knees bent. So we're going to have a flat back, we're going to drop it down, and come back up. So our back is still flat the whole time, and come back up. That's exercise one. Exercise two is a full body run. So we're gonna run and we're gonna swing those arms like a very crazy run. Then we have a lateral raise, we raise that to the side. You can do it one and then the other. That's totally fine. You can do both together. And then raises to the front. Those are our last four exercises. We start in 16 seconds. So grab your water, grab your weights. Fix your bobby pins. All right, ready for those dip lifts? All right. Down and up. Really squeezing those glutes as we come up. Even if I have really light weights here, which is totally fine, I'm working against my own body resistance. And what I'm doing here is I'm probably going only about 80%, 90% of the way up. So I'm keeping that time under tension. You can come all the way up. That's totally fine. It's just going to take the retention off. So take a break. If you need to increase the resistance, don't go up as high. If you need to take a break, do so. All right, full body run. And if you don't want to do it, here's the lower intensity version. 
weights are too much, we're going here. If your weights are still too heavy, bend at that elbow. Then maybe you can do them together. Maybe you can do them separate, that's fine. Pick what suits you best, whether I'm doing it or not. Three, two, one, and then the same thing to the front. If your weight's too heavy for the front, here. You ready? We're only going to shoulder height. We're keeping those shoulders back and down. Remember we can also single it out. Doing towards the end of our workout or the end of our work week for most people. It all adds up. And relax. All right, one more time through and then cool down. So we have those deadlifts. So are you going to modify them at all? Just kind of go into it knowing what you're going to do. Why? the workout in the description so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. It takes away a little bit of the surprise, but it helps you mentally. That's one of the reasons why the instructors may not get as sweaty or as out of breath because we know what weights to pick because we know what's coming next, how long we're doing it. All that jazz. All right, full body run. So I'm going to do the lower intensity version this time. Feel free to stay with the high. All right. Lateral raises. And frontal raises. Four, three, two, one. Two, 
one. Put those weights down. And come on over to the mat. Grab some water. I'm actually going to have a seat. Alright, so I'm seated, seated cross legged position. I'm rolling the shoulders back and down. And I'm going to up over the top. And up and over the top. the center, walk those hands forward. Come on up, and let's circle those hips. Other way. Let's lean up over and over. Come to the center. Walk those hands forward. And then come on up and circle up the hips. And switch sides. Beautiful. One leg up, one leg up. Did you down. Come on up. Try a step stretch. Release. Other oh, leg. Reach down. Come up. Try so stretch. Beautiful. I'll lay on your side. Bring that leg back. Come on, stretch. Ooh, my quads are tight. Release. Turn it around. Same thing. Other way. Other leg. Release, lay on to your back. I want you to turn and face one direction and take that opposite arm, open up that chest. I want you to open it up so we're doing it straight. So I'm just kind of straight here. We're going to do it just an angle in a second. So we're nice and horizontal. Then we're going to come back in. We're going to do a little diagonal up. So we were at an imaginary 3 o'clock. Maybe now we're at an imaginary 1 o'clock. And come back in and an imaginary 4 o'clock. Release, other side. Take that top arm, come out, three o'clock. Come in, one o'clock. And in, and four o'clock. back in, hug those knees in, give yourself a little rock side to side, 
Bring my head in, make it a nice tight little ball. And let's rock and roll three times and sit on up. One. Uh, two. And three. Roll forward. Take your time. Let your upper body hang here. Sway a little side to side. Come on up. And then really quick, half stretch. And other side, half stretch. Awesome work. Thanks for coming. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you later.